One. It's so annoying when you're in your chair because in a best of seven, you'll be on the practice table before or in the dressing room thinking, I hope I get a good chance in the first frame to get in and win the first frame because it's so important in these short matches. He got that chance and he spurned it. Eight. Yes, and Selby scored well this week. A couple of centuries in the mixed doubles, three in this British Open. Nine. And the way the draw has gone, obviously the top four players left in the tournament. 16. We're playing against each other tonight, so I know these players will, on camera, will say they don't look at the draw and they're not bothered, but the back 17. of their minds, I would think two, two of their dangers of winning this event are going to go tonight. So that's what makes it such a, an opportunity. Not saying everyone else in the draw can't win it, but as the top players, you, you look at it and you, you know, fancy this now. 24. The, uh, fourth black coming up because we had fouls on either side, so still on blacks. Well, I know that was a simple shot, but he struck that so beautifully. That black off a spot. The action on the cue ball was beautiful. 33. He certainly couldn't have the reds much better. If you were looking for the maximum. Fault. He made one at the uh, Champion Champions, of course, memorably. Had three in his career in tournament play. Forty one. In fact he made the hundredth. One four seven. At the UK Championship, you had to pot a very difficult last black into the middle pocket. The two reds below the black. 49. They're obviously going to be the problem, but it won't be too difficult if he gets a nice angle in the black to left corner. A high black, he'll just nudge the red underneath the black out of the way and leave the other one, so... That's for... The future. Still got to win the frame, of course. But he will know there's a chance. 56. Fifty-seven. Oh, special prize for a maximum, just a, the £5,000 high break prize. But it's still... One of the biggest buzzes you can have out there is to make a 147 on the match table on live TV. But still, as I said, two or three pots away from securing the frame, so that'll be the priority. But at the moment, he can, he can play for blacks, there's no reason to play for another colour, the way the reds are situated. That little 64. feeling in the room, don't you, as each red and black goes in? Because I'm sure a lot of people here tonight will have never seen one live, seen one television, but not having paid their money to come along. Are they going to see one here? That's the question. 65. Seventy-three. He's got a chance if he feels 
the angles right in the black to cannon the red below it, but I think he'll probably play two cushions for a choice of reds into the right middle. And if he goes too far, he'll have the reds into the right corner. Just got a, a funny angle here. He's just got to avoid the pink. The fact that he's down quite quickly tells me it's okay, the angle. If you want. Doesn't want to be straight. Just off straight, as you can see. Sure, if there was enough angle to play that shot. 88. And is the red still on to the left corner? And more importantly, can he stay on the black if he does pot it? Maybe looking at the double. Or even the treble. Go on, get in. Get in. What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> but there's your hot shot for the week straight away. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, if he makes the maximum now, that is one shot we'll remember for a long, long time. Yeah, this is a the sort of last hurdle, I think, because when there's two reds, you kind of, sometimes you think, I'll put the cue ball in an area guaranteed at least one, and then you end up nowhere on it. So I think in this situation, I always prefer playing for a single red. Yeah, that's a good shot. Because the next black, where the red is, you can play for it, you know, into the right middle or the right corner. He's got options. Anything but straight on the black here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm stung off two five. cushions. Wonderful shot. Absolutely perfect. It's amazing now. You, you kind of go on autopilot here. You're in the zone. Some people say, oh, you're, you're really nervous at this stage. And, well, you are, but it's you don't even pay attention to it because you're just in such a zone of concentration. I'll tell you what, I'm really nervous. and It's, it's got nothing to do with me. They're still special, aren't they? These maximums, they're special to the players. They're special to the audience. They're special to everybody working here at the tournament. Six balls to go. 122. 125. Well, that treble to keep it going, that's the shot, isn't it? Now he's got to put away these last four balls. One hundred and twenty-nine. It's been a difficult year in many ways for Mark Selby, but the signs in the last week is that he's turned a real corner. One hundred and thirty-four. Oh, what about this? Prime one of the night. This black for a one four seven. Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Mark Selby, cool as you like. Yeah, Big smile on Jack Dazanski's face. He was applauding the shots there as well. Mark Selby.
makes his fourth maximum break to launch the night. And the crowd on their feet, absolutely loving it.